I found a new toy, a science toy too, showing a bit of physics that I knew about but never seen demonstrated. It's a Curie Effect magnetic heat engine. And here's the magnet, this large silver thing at the back, a very strong neodymium magnet. Here, curiously enough, is a piece of aluminium wire on a brass string, but it's got a little bit of nickel, which is ferromagnetic at the base, which is why it's being attracted to the piece. But what's the candle doing there? It's quite a small kit, but it's going to do something rather extraordinary, I'm hoping. So I'll pull that away, tilt it, light the candle. And the thing is going to flip forward. Now we do some adjustment, because we want to get that piece of yes oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness chaotic motion what on earth is happening here well the Curie point is the point at which a metal will lose its magnetism so when this is coming into the back a bit, into the magnetic field it's pulled towards it but it, once it comes over the flame it heats it above two, 200 degrees and loses its magnetic property. The magnet has no, 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 no effect on it. It then falls under gravity. Down here it's going to cool down and then be attracted by the magnet again. It's, that's better, nice, slow. What an extraordinary demonstration. So up in the flame it's above 200 degrees and it's unmagnetizable. However strong the magnet is, it, this won't be affected by it. When it falls back down under gravity, it'll cool down and then the magnetic field will then instantly try to grab it and pull it forward again. And you get all sorts of different periods of oscillation depending on how you adjust the pieces. This will adjust, this will adjust, and so on. It's amazing what a one candle power can do, isn't it? What an engine.